Claudia oh. Dragon. Ouch! That's my knee. Look, it's Claudia Dragon. Folks, Sunday afternoon, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Margoo campaign. Thanks for joining us on this nice weekend. Uh, we got a good show for you. We got a lot of characters, as you can tell already. Should be kind of interesting. We'll get to the specifics here in just a minute. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like this shirt or this phone case or... I don't know, toilet paper. I'm not sure. We saw a lot of crap. Uh, the link is down there. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, uh, you'll notice that there's a 20% off. I think it's Take 20 uh, at checkout. So check that out. Uh, if you're in the mood for new math rocks and who doesn't like those, uh, run on over to Twitter, at Pirate Dog Dice. Check them out. See if they have the time, the inclination, or the even the desire to go ahead and make you some more. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success and roses, uh, oh, Fishgames.com has over 60 adventure sets oh, for one. your nasal pleasure. Uh, some of them, not so much. Some of them you just pour into your boss's vents at work and laugh like nobody's watching. Today is the Margu campaign. We've got the family all together. We're missing AJ again. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and introduce everybody Mikey. and then we'll get to the background. We will start with Middle Frank. Because he's taking a drink, and that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> I noticed that. Hi, I'm Middle Frank. I shall be playing uh, Robert of Zeppelin, aka the wonderful mystical bard slash sorcerer of magic doom mafia style. Take no prisoners, leave no witnesses, blood Prisoner. and violence, gut and death. Hail Satan! I'm sorry. 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 Hail Satan. <laughs> Next up is Sophia, the youngest murder hobo. Sophia, same question, different answers. Hi. I'm Sophia. I play okay. Levi. Levi. I'm a dark elf or a drow. And I'm also a ranger. I get abused so much. I'm not okay. I don't know it anymore. No. Well, at least you aren't the fat one, right? The fat one's somebody else on the show. <laughs> uh, senior member of our group, Frank Senior. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I'm Frank Senior. I play Leaf the Druid. Don't give a damn. There you go. You know, I think I know where Haggis Crapstain gets it. Uh, Nick, let's transition over to you. Try not to be so long-winded this time. <laughs> I play Haggis Crapstain. Always Did he have pleasure. to walk around because he forgot who he was? <laughs> I, I don't think any of the uh, three... I could have just movies. looked at my name on the screen, I realized. Yeah. I think oh, Sophia man. did the same thing. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, next up, the very svelte youngest Frank of the group. Uh, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Hi. I am the mystical, the magical, the amazing man Frank. <laughs> Am I right? I got this cool new hat and my cool new skills as a <laughs> cool guy and a cinematographer. And a fat dragon. I am not fat. It's and just water cool weight. Heart. Trust me. It was all the water weight that got into my scar. It's hey, one good in one good crap stain and he, he'll be back to his normal fighting weight. That's exactly. Cool, exactly. Uh, It'll last, wear off eventually. Last but certainly not least, Jason. I, <clears throat> does anyone remember Father Vito Sargucci from? Uh, yes, absolutely. All right, just I just uh, want to make sure, throw that out there because I'm staring at him right now. <laughs> that, I didn't it. even think of that. Yeah, yeah. I'll show him the video. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I play Copious Full Bitters the Third, uh, the uh, uh, entrepreneur, part-time warlock witch. And full time pain in the butt for other members of the party, apparently, for no good reason, who's desperate right now to ride his gnomish butt all the way to the capital and pay his tax bill and sell his uh, share of the bar at the same time, probably. And real estate and light reach. I have a wonderful real estate opportunity for a deserving person in light reach. I understand it's right on the coast. It nice. is right on the coast the water is literally outside your room. 
Wow. Okay, Frankie folks, uh, these guys have been playing. I think this is episode 58 or something like that. Uh, they have a roadhouse. They have a roadhouse uh, that is currently uh, in a state of disrepair. Uh, it's being worked on, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. But as Copius has said, there is a tax bill issue uh, that needs to be dealt with. So the entire group is headed to Thornfield, the capital of Dreglary, the Halfling Kingdom. Unfortunately, Copius and Felix had to remain behind for a day or so uh, due to uh, a technical difficulty, signing of contracts, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, legal ramifications, etc. So we have Felix and Copius about five hours behind the rest of the group. Levi, the drow, is suffering from sun damage because, you know, Drows can't stay up in sunlight, and so far, it hasn't rained a drop. Uh, when last we left, Leaf, Sophia, Robert, and uh, Manfang and Haggis have all arrived uh, at a roadblock. Uh, there hasn't been much foot traffic, and as they round the corner, there is a large tree blocking the road. Initially, they saw a lot of people. Now they just see one. Uh, Copious and Felix, who's not present, are still back in Triorki, a couple hours behind. Uh, they spent the night in comfortable sheets. These guys did not. Uh, and Copious, despite my personal attentiveness to give them something fun to do, has decided to go ahead and stick to plan and head towards Thornfield. So, uh, we will start with Copious and Felix, not present. Uh, Copious, New day. New day has dawned. Uh, bright sunlight. You're feeling good. You and Felix got a good rest, although, boy, that gambling opportunity really would have been nice. Uh, but you stuck to your guns. You don't want to do that. Uh, I assume you want to head out, head south, uh, move on down the road. Move on down the road, hopefully catching up with the rest of the party if we go a little bit quicker pace. Well, you two are on zonkeys, and several members of the other group are on giant chickens. So battle chickens. You, no, I battle chickens. They're my children now. Yeah. So you do chicken have is a going. chicken is a chicken. Yeah. Now, uh, Copius and Felix, as you leave Triorki, uh, you go D four for me, please. Mm -mm. Uh, three. You go about three hours, uh, and you notice uh, normal foot traffic on the road to Orphic, which is, uh, you know, your next stop, essentially. Uh, and, and, and you hear things. So give me a perception check on what you hear. Well, I actually did decent on that perception check. Uh, let's see, 21. It wasn't that big of a problem, but geez, I hate detours. This just, ugh, you know... I, we're still making good time, but it just really pisses me off. Uh, after about three hours uh, of seeing these people, just normal traffic, you come to a sign in the road, and an individual is wearing a yellow vest. Uh, on the yellow vest says uh, DGID, uh, and he puts up his hand, uh, says, Well, there, folks. Gonna need you to make a detour. We got a road problem. Uh, Copius once asked him politely what the nature of the problem is. Uh, wait, road looks fine from here. But it, here, yeah, for a couple miles, it's fine. The, the problem is uh, we've had some trees felled, uh, and there's a bridge out up ahead, is what I'm understanding. Uh, so, uh, I, I, you know, you're mounted, and I don't think your mounts are going to enjoy that trip. So I would suggest taking the back road into Orphic. Uh, it, it, it's going to cost you an hour. Uh, we're working hard. We here at the Dre Glary Infrastructure Department uh, are, are hard at work trying to fix this. We, uh, we apologize for the inconvenience. How far up the road is the, the bridge out? Uh, it's about three, four, or five miles. Can I make an uh, insight check to see if he's lying to me? Sure. 22. Yeah, 
Seems honest as the day is long. All seems on the up and up. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to ask got you. the vest. Uh, that's the that's the real killer. <laughs> uh, the, um, <clears throat> the detour. You say I do I I have to go into Orphic? It's the only way to detour around the bridge. What is it clear where I'm going when I go to Orphic? You mean the detour? Yeah, to get her back on this route. I'm I'm, I'm going to press upon him. I have a critical matter to deal with and the capital and any delay is is costly yeah the detour uh takes you around through the uh farmland uh brings you back on the road past the forest uh you hook back up it's more of a farmer's trail uh rather than the main road uh but we here at the d-r-i-d uh we're 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 dedicated to servicing your travel needs uh it it shouldn't cost you more than a, a, an hour may, maybe only a half hour since you got them fine mounts which are uh not from around here i'm taking it uh but yeah uh again we apologize for the inconvenience we don't want to see that uh, beautiful mount especially that uh creamy one that buttercupish kind of one uh <laughs> oh, you can have that one yeah and just as this guy's laying this on, are there like six other halflings just sitting on their butts eating or something? While... Not at this location. Okay. Just check. All right. I, I'm i sure if, if Copius believes him, so we're going to try to follow this detour. Sure. Uh, you, you pull off the detour uh, and you're at the crest of a hill. You're going down into a valley. Looks like Napa Valley, man. There's just you know, farms everywhere. People on the road, off in the distance, uh, ahead of you, behind, or coming at you. Uh, everything appears to be on the up and up. All right, we're going to keep going. Is it is the town visible at all from this far back? You no. said it's kind of hilly. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, it, you're, you're still a couple hours away. <clears throat> so... Uh, Leaf, Robert, Levi, Hagas, Manfang, when last we left you, uh, it was about midday and you come across uh, a problem. There's a log across the road uh, and uh, you're pretty sure you saw a couple of people, uh, but as you got closer, there's only one. And of course, he's like, oh there, Uh, sorry, there's a tree blocking the road here. Uh, had a little bit of storm damage. Uh, gonna ask you to uh, dismount for me, please. I dismount for no man. Well, hang on. I don't yeah. want to ask to dismount. He, he calls his boss. It's a female. And she goes, get off your... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, get off your chicken. <laughs> Good enough, I, I understood can, what was coming across. Yeah, I think we can all read into that one. Uh, uh, he goes, we got a problem here, and you don't want to be riding those, because if you fall off, you're going to hurt yourself. No, you're just not giving me enough issue, information on what's your issue. That tree is not an issue to me. Well, this is the first of quite a few trees. Not an issue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride on up to the tree where I can see over the tree. Okay. Leaf, you notice on the other side there's a small campfire and there's about six guys sitting around on shovels drinking coffee. <laughs> Jason called it correctly. This is a government job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, the, and the tree is fairly large. I mean, it's not a redwood by any stretch of the imagination. But as you come up to it around the corner, you can see several trees disjointed. It looks like a uh, tornado, heavy thunderstorm. Uh, Giant which, creature that has big teeth and a mouth. Are we in the woods by any? You I, are I mean, in the I, woods. I'd yeah. like to get an idea of the terrain. Is, is it a thick woods or is it a woods we can ride through? Uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, you can probably try and ride through it. Those giant <laughs> chickens are going to have issue. But uh, the, zonkeys, the zonkeys can probably sidestep most of it. Uh, it's a uh, standard Holy woods, uh, not, you know, haunted looking or anything like that. It's uh, deciduous. So, you know, you got some elms, some maples, things of that nature. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that, that helps. Uh, everybody on the uh, shovel has a yellow vest that says uh, DGID. How far away are they? 
Eh, probably 20 feet. Uh, there's some kind of joke telling going on. A lot of work. A lot of work being done. How big is this uh, 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 tree branch in front of us? Maybe four, six feet. Could my zonkey like jump on top and just over? Uh, insight check. Eight. Hmm. Eight? Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> okay, that's not a good sign. I say we go around the tree. Well, the tree's kind of wedged. So it's yeah. not not down all the way or it's down it's split. You know how it's you got the trunk and then it's still split and then it's wedged mm -hmm. itself in between two trees, about a foot, foot and a half off the ground. I mean, it, it, it's not impassable, okay. it's just difficult. Yeah. Well let's just go around. We'll just Ride around, make our way through the woods. Uh, we just... I, I'm afraid we at uh, DGID cannot be responsible for your safe passage if you continue forth, uh, citizens. Well, you might be a citizen, but the rest of you, strangers, uh, we're not going to be held liably, liable or uh, legally responsible for any injuries. We're just saying that. Oh, that's right. fine. And I won't be held liable for any injuries you're going to sustain if you don't get out of the way. <laughs> now, uh, as part-time peacekeeper, I'll remind you that threats against uh, government officials are not tolerated. So I'm well, that, back that, on that statement, sir. Saying. That wasn't a threat. That was just a heads up to the facts. Might now, I have? I'm gonna your start edging name. my zonk. <laughs> I'm gonna start edging my zonky forward. Excuse me, sir. Might I have your name? Felix. Felix. <laughs> Felix. <laughs> He's writing that down. Yeah. Felix the Gambler. Felix the Gambler. And my name's Copious. Get out of the way. <laughs> Copious. Copious. Famous brewer of piss-ass beer. You've got, like the, you've got that song, <laughs> don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how does that go? You, uh, uh, here uh, comes the uh, crap, uh, here uh, comes hey, the Jerry. crap. Uh, one of the Drink guys telling pint, jokes is like, what? He goes, more crap. this is that Copious guy you hear. And he's like, here comes the king, here comes the band. They all come over and they're going to surround Robert. Hey, uh, you got any of them there, uh, samples? <laughs> uh, the samples are all back at the bar shop that we're setting up camp at. Straight up the road. How far? You, you know you aren't going to get yeah. this road cleared anytime this decade if you're going to offer alcohol to halflings. Uh I'm going to start riding on around. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, this is just pure di di distraction. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, now, Leaf, since you're going first, give me your animal handling uh, roll, please. Boys, the faster you get this done, 25. This beard, you can get a free sample. Just go in and tell them that my name is uh, Copious. <laughs> first round's on me, but only if the road's clear. Okay, well, they start to get to work. They put away their coffee and uh, start digging. Leaf, as you round the corner, you can see quite a few trees down here. Uh, Leaf has moved across. Didn't seem to have any issue. Who's second? Hold your animal handling. I'll go second. Here. Give oh, me wait. your animal handling. Was she with us or She's Jason? on a chicken with you guys. So she's with me then. Yeah. Okay. I like chicken. You know, your chickens, chickens can fly. Short, short distance. distance. You can't throw them far enough. What is no, that, for a short distance, well, I, I can. I guess this in my head, and I got a ten. I guessed it in my head, though. But I probably. I she rolled know. a ten for animal handling. Uh, Haggis, uh, your zonky uh, got a little scrape on it uh, going around that tree. Uh, they haven't cleared the branches off yet, but you have made it around it. You uh, want to buff that out? The, the damage isn't atrocious so who wants to go next 10 did i hear for levi so sophie or levi got a 10 now levi uh you're in direct sunlight here in the forest you're gonna need to roll sh stuff at disadvantage was she going around or trying to fly up over That's probably that means probably, you gotta roll again didn't say okay it's probably gonna be mm. 10 again nope no it's not above yeah it's it's going to be 10. That's all I know. Yeah, it's 10 because you roll higher. I, I rolled a 21 after that. Uh, do you want to go up or around? Up and over or around the trees? 
You want to go over the tree? Over it. Go over, over the tree. Go over the top of the tree. around it. Go over the tree. You know, Be a man. Go over sunlight. the tree. Uh, a couple of its feathers from this giant chicken are scraped off from the rough branches, but you also make it around. My Robert child. and Manfang, you are next. Hmm. I wonder what I can do. Oh, I forgot I have to roll animal handling. Uh, Robert, Let me dump out. Are you going pilot. up and over or around? Around. Your chicken is stuck. I know what we're having for dinner. <laughs> and now it's starting to panic. <laughs> How far away is everybody from me? Uh, they have now taken a step back and say, Copious, Copious, are you okay? <laughs> everybody should step back at least 15 foot. They do so. You're on mine. Oh, no, well, that's not what I want. Hold on, I'm 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 getting my thunder wave out. Is, oh, how long? How does it You're gonna blast the tree out of the way? Uh, you do know that Levi, Haggis, and Leaf are ahead of you, right? That's why I said everybody needs to get out of my way. Leaf I'm gonna move. Foot. I'm gonna move up on the road, back, back up on the road, then. I'm gonna press thunder wave. Now, Levi, you know, you know the chicken is stuck between limbs, right? What do you mean? It's wedged. Yeah. I was going to blow the trees off me. Okay. <laughs> the chicken's going to be like an angry bird. Just flying through the so, sky. Is that a pressure cooked chicken that you're having for dinner? That sounds like what it is. I hope it's got that thing that poop. <laughs> that little thermostat that pops out. Yeah, you know, hey. uh, named after the greatest university in the big Well, it's, I figured it's with me inside the 15-foot uh, sphere. Sure. Sphere? Sure, think what you want. Copius is really glad he went on the detour. It should be. We're going to move, keep moving up the road to get the hell away from him. Well, he and Now that we see what he's going to do, because we know what happens when he uses magic. Yep. Well, what if he ruins it so Man Fang can't get across? <laughs> I know how I'm going to get across. He might. I don't know how he is. What'd you roll for him? Don't worry about it. He's going to set the forest on fire. <laughs> Well, that was my next step. I'm just going to burn everything down. Shocker. Uh, really interesting right. character, everybody. Would do that. Or I could always do. That better. was the day that the DM thought he was going to get a TPK. I guess I'm, I'm getting off and just pushing from my chicks and chicken's ass. <laughs> I like horses. Uh, roll me a d4, please. Let's see how much damage your bird gets from squeezing through. Your bird is dead from sticks. Three. Uh, you killed your bird with sticks. A a uh, okay, man, Fang, you're up yeah. last. What did you want to do? I rolled an 18, surprisingly, yep. in animal handling. Now. Did you go up I and over or around? That's what I'm thinking, because I'm wanting to go over. So it's, chickens can fly, so I'm going to get off the chicken, because I know I could get over if I just, like, you know, hi you and then so? pull myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm a strong guy. I'm going to go with that. All right. So I got a great idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going, hmm, how can I do this? How can I make, hmm. I'm going to try and get my chicken to jump over the log. Sure. Not like that. No. <laughs> Sure. Wait, no, wait, no, you do that after you get it over. I'm not going to do it ever. Okay, I'm going to so, jump so. up on the log and then yank it and then yank it real hard and it's going to fly over. Give me a dexterity check. Dexterity? <laughs> you sure? You sure about dexterity? Sure. How, how about that? 16. You successfully yank on uh, the reins and get the chicken to <laughs> flap over about eight, ten feet, and it's on the other side. Uh, it kind of does the shimmy shake, and uh, the halflings there uh, from the Dre Glary in, uh, infrastructure department are like, uh, how much for that thing? Mm, how much you got? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you 20 gold pieces for that thing. Mm. Am I near? Can I hear? <laughs> yeah, you're you're still concerned about what you had to do to your chicken. 
Because that's my chicken he's on. It is. Possession's nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> what you're at. 20 gold is pretty high, man. Thing. You should definitely... Mm-hmm. 20 yeah. gold's a lot. It's a steal. Yeah. Yeah, there's six guys. They're chipping in five gold pieces each, mm-hmm. man. You're talking at least a day's wage. This isn't yeah. built no. Nike shoes. This is something important. <laughs> How much longer do we have till we get to the capital? <laughs> ah, not long at all. <laughs> not long at all. Yeah. Maybe it will then. Oh, I don't know. Hey, man, thing, just hold out. Somebody's going to offer you some magic beans in a little while, and you can take those instead. <laughs> magic beans? <clears throat> hey, I'll go up and find the golden goose. Now mm. you can hear him, Robert. Your brother's going to be grounded. No, I, I want. Uh, what, I want wait, hey, 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 hey! That's my chicken, there, man. Thing. Can't what do sell you my mean? Property. I'm riding. The... Did you pay me for him? Show me proof of. Show me proof of uh, ownership. Show me proof of ownership. Well, Give, see, let me see your dealership contract. We could always shake hands on it. I don't want to shake your hand anytime. I never want to touch. I don't want to even look at your hands. What's on your hands? Why your hands got? I'm not going to ask about that. Um. That's my chicken. You're not selling it. What if I am? Then I guess the fight's going on. <laughs> Fine. I'll pulse, jump down. Pulse wave. <laughs> You're already off the chicken. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already down off the log, right? Uh, I will assume that you can be. Your roll was high enough. All right. Then I'm going to say, mm, I'm sorry, but Scrooge here doesn't approve of my liquid of spending. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, maybe we'll. It, 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 uh, copious guy. Hey, copious. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys serve them uh, giant chickens uh, at the bar where we're going to get our free drinks? Only on special occasions. If you come around at least four times, <clears throat> once a week, four weeks straight, then there's a free chicken dinner. Just ask for Copious when you show up. See, Copious, he's helping you out, kind of, ish. <laughs> uh, Copious, Felix, uh, eh, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Uh, you guys take the back road, traffic to and fro. You guys come up on a cart uh, that has a jacked wheel. An elderly couple with turnips uh, are, are, are having a frightful time trying to fix this it's causing a slight roadblock uh you can bypass it or you can uh kill them and push the carton over the cliff uh, you, you you can you can help them out uh and change the wheel uh it doesn't appear to be that difficult a prospect i mean yeah we'll fix it you not you, you your guys are screwed the woods this is uh copious and feel oh i'm sorry <laughs> I, I missed you saying it was copious yeah. Yeah, because he's such a skilled, uh, you know, cart right. Cart master. <laughs> uh, so, Copious and Felix are the two that come across the elderly couple? Correct. So, we're going to go right by them. Okay. Now, as we go by, do they say anything or look at us? Well, would it be possible to gain some assistance? Copious, look at him. He holds up his... I've got this thing. I... <laughs> Uh, let's, make, let's make Felix have a roll, though. I'm gonna roll. No Felix. feeling whatsoever. No, no feeling. What? See? Oh. No, he meant no feeling. <laughs> no, no feeling pain. whatsoever. Uh, does Does Felix feel compelled to stop? I don't know. How do you want to do it? You want to d12 it? Wait a minute. Do they have a daughter? <laughs> is there Is there a female next? I mean, honestly, that's that would be the. Honestly, uh, it's Felix. Is there a female there with the paradise? Elderly couple. Yeah, how good looking is the guy? What the hell? Uh, thirteen. Hi there. So normal. Okay, I'm, I'm going to D twelve and let's see what Felix does here. Okay. Am I rolling against you? Yeah. So if if you win, pass. If I win, uh, help him. Hey. Okay. Yeah, help him. Yeah. Six. Four. Dad. Come on, let's help him Felix. out. Felix, what? there's got to be some game he's playing here if he's going to help no. him out, though. These guys yeah. are old. They're trying to sell their rutabagas. Come on, no. man. Just come on. Let's just help them because it, 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 
it, on closer inspection, it's just stuck in the mud. They seem to have gone off. They, you know, they, they point out, you know, they give you the sob story. We've been here for an hour. Nobody will stop to help us. We, we'd be really grateful. We can even give you some rutabagas. Fine. 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 Uh, Fine. They go great with roast zonkey. Roll, uh, roll two strength checks. One for you, one for Felix, please. Uh, natural 20 for copious, which is wow. stupid. And a two for Felix. <laughs> Not surprising, Felix steps in oxen crap. Uh, but fortunately, the sheer muscle mass of Copious is enough to get it up there. Uh, the old man uh, gives his oxen a little clap on the butt, uh, and the cart lurches forward, and uh, they are back in business. Thank you, thank you. Uh, they offer you a bag of, of rutabagas, or turnips, rather, uh, you know, oh, and, as... Uh, a, a, a gift. I I'll tell them thank you, and say, and then uh, remind them of the copious uh, Volbitters brand brewery that's in town. Not, I'm I'm not a big drinker, but I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. We'll 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 tell our our daughter that she needs to check you out. Oh, okay, no, now you Felix said daughter just perked up. Yeah, Felix. Oh yeah, Felix is like. Daughter? 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 Yeah. Daughter? yeah. Um, daughter. How daughter. much time did that eat away on us? Oh, well, she's not with us. She, she, How far away is she? She, she works for the government. <laughs> oh, I know who she is. <laughs> what, what, what's your name? <laughs> uh, Abernathy. Yeah, she's got on a yellow vest. And... What department does she work for? Uh, she works, uh, the, it's, uh, what, uh, honey, what, what do they call that? Uh, she's in charge of, uh, giving out licenses for, uh, food and beverage. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that just so happens that's where we're on our way to. Go you, figure, what a coincidence. Hey, you, you are what? headed to the Capitol? We're trying. Well, if you see a, a, a lovely young lady named Gertrude... You let her know that her parents are really proud of her. So I'm wondering what would have happened if you wouldn't have helped and would have kept on going. Uh, it, you guys, they wouldn't have, you guys might get a break. Is is what happened because he helped them. You would not have gotten a break if you would have just. Yeah. Uh, Gertrude, <laughs> Gertrude, you will remember the is uh, the girl in black leather. She and uh, the other guy. Uh, have been to the roadhouse and she is the one who has given you 30 days your bill so you may have just bought yourself some time because you don't have to murder everybody <laughs> <laughs> well don't have to want to what is this bull crap so and I just have a reputation to keep up with, okay? So, I'm going to ask the, the name of her parents, though. Abernathy it was? Ma and Pa Abernathy? Ma and Pa Abernathy. Helmet and Marguerite. And they are, they are, they are just over the moon that you guys have helped them. Uh, Felix, let's see if he remembers who it is, because he was pretty drunk. Not a clue. Five. <laughs> he uh, first thing he says is Gertrude. Uh, <laughs> so he has no recollection of who this lady is. But she is okay. part of the food and uh, beverage industry. Uh, but you guys are now free to move along. Uh, give me a give me a D six. one with duke of philbar here let's see what we get three three hours later you roll into orphic so you guys made excellent time and have helped the general citizenry citizenry leaf robert levi haggis and Manfang. uh you've gotten over obstacle one you have failed to sell the chicken you did not use magic and blow splinters in every direction uh, Leaf now stands in front of obstacle two. And it is? 
same thing big old this is a big old swath so this is uh whoo that's a nine that is a nine nine trees which <laughs> uh, looks like a I, beaver okay, give dam. me a second here i have an idea <clears throat> i could burn it down with acid and it wouldn't sit on fire. No, you don't yeah. have enough acid to burn all the damn trees down. Oh, you'd be sorely mistaken. Hey, 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 Just you give know, me a minute. Give me a we minute. We should get behind the other trees and you blow up. <coughs> it's it's like slow God them. put these trees here to slow us down. To Let's see. Capital. God, Frank, DM. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Allah also oh. translated to Frank. You guys were ahead of schedule anyway. Well, at least you're ahead of Copius and Felix. Um, no, that? I'm I'm looking for a spell. Just give me. You a guys minute. had a five hour distance on him. Probably a rope or something. Had. <laughs> how far <laughs> how far away are all these trees from? Is it like one after another? It, it, it looks like a beaver dam. I mean, it is just a jumbled okay. mess, okay. and the forest here is kind of thick. Sophia will not have to roll at disadvantage because of the uh, canopy is oh. blocking a lot of the sunlight uh so she will not have to do anything here it is going to be a little I, I won't say dark uh but you know overcast so you got nine logs in front of you do we have any wind spells like something to well i do that's what i'm looking for thunder <laughs> I, I think acid is the best the problem option. with a lightning bolt is that. it'll set fire to every one of these trees if I shoot that thing. And through. I have acid, so. I think you should. I think man, acid. acid. <laughs> this is a bad. Oh, maybe you should reach out, Sophie, with your ranger sense and see if you can find an elephant. Like Aquaman, I'm just gonna reach out and talk to the elephant. Now, we say that, but keep in mind, we know elephants are in the area. That is true, uh, because now, the pachyderm core was not yeah. present. Where is that beast from? <clears throat> uh, well, an elephant stampede the heading through okay. a halfling town sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so uh, we just need to move around them. You know, if they've all, as he said, fallen to the oh, middle like that, well, let's just go get anything. off the road and go around the damn you. trees. Yeah. Well, then you say the forest was thick. Yeah. It's very thick here, so it's going to, it's doable. I mean, it, it's not, you know, like this, uh, but but it, it, it's going to require a roll. All right. I'll work away. Animal handling roll again. Which is a little bit higher because it's so, so damage if i were to cut through it and lead my chicken through could could i like have an advantage or something or just use something else for like 27 like strength uh you would have enough acid to cut through one i i not my like not like the trees but if i were to go around and use my axe to cut down brush would i have to could i get like a strength roll instead or anything you, you can i'll okay. give you that because it's not off the road they're they're thinner they're more narrow. Okay. Then maybe I will just cut my way through it. Okay, John Henry. If he leads a path, can I just not roll and go if through If he leads path? a path, you guys can wander through without a roll. Okay, yep. go ahead, man Fang. Start chopping. So That is an 18 on my strength roll. D4, please. Or, D4. Hold on, hold on, hold on. D6, I'm sorry. D6. Oh, okay. Roll the four. It's going to take about 40 minutes for him to cut the path. And that is around all of the down trees? All of the down trees. Everybody can follow through on the path. Okay. Not a big deal. You're uh, welcome. Leaf, you have already made it through. Yeah. Because uh, your zonky is not like Manfang. It's thin like a slender reed. Why am I the fat one? <laughs> this is sucks. <laughs> Great. We're going to have to pay for therapy because you're going to mentally scar him. No, you always fat. That's so fat. Ink. That oh. is too late. Oh, man. The therapist is what? Going to go. I, she, the therapist convinced Murder Hobo Ink is not real. It's just in his mind. Uh, all yeah. Uh, the strength of Man Fang is amazing, and he's just whoosh, 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 uh, just hacking and chopping. Give me a straight up D20. Let's make sure you don't nick that prized blade of yours. 
Oh, Paul Bunyan. And who's behind uh, him? Six. <laughs> <laughs> who's behind him? All of uh, you except for Leaf. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, you, you, got a, you got a ding there that you're going to have to fix. <clears throat> Everybody except Leaf and Manfang, straight up D20. Make sure a tree doesn't fall on you while your head is up your butt. So, Haggis, Robert, and Levi, straight up D20. D20, Levi. 20, Levi. I heard you. D20. Oh, Oh, Padre, I heard you. Levi, big numbers. Big numbers for Levi. Four? Nice. Oops. Putting up the big numbers. Haggis? Twelve. You don't get hit by a tree. Thank you. Oh my gosh! I'm cursed! I am cursed! I am cursed! I'm leaving! I am cursed! No, you just suck like your brother does at rolling dice. 19 for me. Uh, Levi takes a tree to the face. (laughs) Suck! Big scar? No, only four hit points. So she'll be spitting bark for a while. We'll call her Mumbles because it maybe knocked a tooth loose. So if a drow has a scar, does it make him any homelier? Well, you know that Could. picture you put up? That's what I'm figuring she looks like. Wow. That's kind of scary. I kind of like it. So, it only took you less than an hour, because a man thinks amazing strength capabilities, which is a huge plus. Wow. That's just nasty. Uh, you going to rise the Golden Guardian? Uh, as you continue forward down the road, Leaf has found the bridge over the River Sphinx. Uh, unfortunately... It has sustained uh, a significant amount of damage. There are no workers here, by the way. Uh, they, they are likely moving in from both ends after hearing the problem. Uh, so there has been zero cleanup on this bridge. Uh, it, uh, the Sphinx it is a big river, not a huge river. Uh, that's why there's a bridge there. Uh, investigation check, Leaf. How deep is the river? The ravine itself is about 20 feet. It's kind of steep. Uh, Mm -hmm. As Leaf surveys the damage, he realizes that this is going to be tricky getting the mounts over the bridge. Uh, And there are... Is any of the deck still there? Some of it. There are three bodies in the ravine below. They are dressed... Can I cast Mend on the bridge? Uh, let me think about that one. I, I think technically you could. Because I figured the pieces are still there. Wouldn't that... They're dangling, but yeah, they would still be there. It's... There there are three clerical bodies at the bottom of the ravine on either side of the shore. It like has more ravine. to do with the size of the bri- of it for mending. Well, uh, mending's what, first level, not cantrip? It's cantrip. So he, he can do it. It's just, it's going to require a D6 roll. One foot in any dimension. Yeah, he's going to have to roll a d12 and a d6. So if you want to mend and mend and mend and mend, uh, d6 and d12 add the result. Right. And don't forget there are three bodies at the bottom. Eh, who cares? They're just there. Can we t- tell from what, what the bodies are? <laughs> yeah. Clerical robes, scenery. Uh, but there's a lot of, right. a lot of debris. You, I'm going to walk. He's mending. I'm, I'm going to climb down and investigate the bodies. Uh, acrobatics and what was it, Robert? I said, uh, are you wanting the numbers combined or combined? Separate? Combined 14. It's going to take 140 minutes for him to mend this bridge, but he will mend the bridge. Can I also go down to um, check the bodies? 18? Acrobatics check, 18. Well, 100 minutes is an hour and a half. 15. It's about two hours. Uh, 15, you kind of slip and slide your way down there. Uh, Robert is mending <laughs> Levi and Manfang. What are you doing? Watching. Watching. Yes. Fair enough. Leaf, Haggis, you get to the bottom. There are two bodies on this side, one on the other side. River cuts in between. It's kind of a narrow gap because that's where you build bridges uh, at the narrows. Uh, you immediately recognize, uh, kind of, who these individuals are. 
Who are these individuals? They are the nuns of the Silver Moon. Oh. Yeah. And I'm they gonna, died? I'm going to search they... the body. Uh, you find their holy symbol, buddy. Uh, you don't find any sign of the magical item that you retrieved from the fortress. Um, and you Can we notice... tell how they died? Is there any sign? Of... <clears throat> Give me a medicine check, please. Can I go check uh, the body further down? Though. Plus five. Well, it's 17. on the other side. Oh, you mean the two here? Yeah. Okay. What was it? 15? Se 17. Uh, give me a medicine check, Haggis. Yeah. <clears throat> mean Leaf? No, you for investigating oh. the other body. Leaf passed his. 14. Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, Leaf, yours seems to be cut right at the rib cage, like it's been eviscerated. Um, not sure how. A lot of mud. Uh, there's some maggots, so it's been a couple days. Uh, but it looks like they committed they've through. just been sliced through. Murdered. No wood chips, uh, so it's not like splintering from the fallen trees did it. Anything like that. Haggis, uh, as, no, Haggis. as he rolls his over... As he rolls his over, he notices that the eyes are... Okay, okay. I, I tell Leaf this, and I know that this one was probably like I don't know, seen something crazy before this one. Died. Yeah, this one was looks like it was murdered. <laughs> I guess this somehow. One's good. I think we need to go check the other one. How wide's the river? Uh, this is the narrow part, uh, so you can get across. Uh, there's still some rocks and debris in there. Robert's across. not going to make this bridge 100%, but he is going to make it passable. And he's uh, uh, 140 uh 60 yeah about two hours so he's you know uh, he's a half hour into it uh and he seems to be making good progress uh if you guys want to try and cross the river yep uh go ahead and make survival rules i'm gonna stay on this side good you check the pockets of these two sure good thing e empty just the <laughs> just the silver moon amulet that's a 19 <laughs> yeah you, you wait across successfully and there's a third one there I take both no, of these same thing. I'll, I'll uh, search them and investigate. Uh, this one looks like it's been uh, cut uh, right across the waistline. Same same type of evisceration damage. Hmm. And again, nothing else on the body? Nope. Uh, investigation, Haggis, investigation, right. Leaf. Investigation or? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's only 12. That's an 18. Uh, as you're yelling across uh, to the river, uh, it, it is the narrow part of it, so let's call it 30 feet, I guess. Uh, it's kind of dark down here because, you know, the tree canopy is overhanging. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you, out of the corner of your eye, uh, notice that, excuse me, uh, notice that uh, something's coming. <laughs> and it's floating along the river. It's kind of an orb floating down the river. Move your chair. An orb, huh? Does it look like, might be family? Doesn't have any feet. <laughs> I don't think, what the hell is that? It uh, <laughs> continues to get closer, and you notice that it has like a comb over. A comb I, over? I'm going to pocket the amulets and run up the seat. Ac acrobatics again? No, wait. Yeah, it's just got this like comb yeah. over. What happened? They turned into bats. Let's sit down. 24. And it's floating on a river, and it's round. You you scamper up quickly. Uh, 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 man Fang, uh, Le Levi, Robert, uh, there's a thing coming. One to two. One to two, it goes after Leaf side. Three through six goes on the other side. What's going on? Okay. Five. Uh, the orb kind of moves along the shoreline because it has seen Haggis. 
scamper up like a chipmunk. Leaf, you can see it start to rise. Uh, again, sphere, comb over, uh, moving towards Haggis, who is... It's rising. Has it got legs? It does not have any legs at all. Okay. I don't know what the hell this is. You do, but you don't. <laughs> uh, well. Let's go with initiative everybody, except for uh, Copious. My initiative dies down here. 16. Rescale. 11. Plus 1. 17. Robert and Levi? Levi, roll your initiative. Okay. Initiative. Ooh, 19. Oh, no. He's... 22. Nice. Robert? Oh, okay. Barely. I'm sure it will suck. Yes, four. <laughs> uh, Levi, give me an arcana check. I'm scared. You should be, especially if you go high on this roll. Right there, yep. Roll it. Literal high. Nope, 12. I rolled 12. You've heard stories of what this is. Copious Felix, uh, as you continue on, uh, you actually reach the outskirts of Orphic. Uh, this is a halfling community, uh, pretty standard, not that big a deal. As you arrive, uh, more grumbling about, oh yeah, this is bullshit, what? we have to make this long turn, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you, you come in off this road right about here, where it intersects, you can see the community, uh, not too bad. Give me a D4, please. You had it right, D-R-O-W-L. Ew. Uh, it only took you two hours to get here. What time of day is it now? High noon. Okay, so we've done well. Yeah, and, you, you've done very well, and you've helped uh, an elderly couple out. Now, is that a river that runs on the, that the is, west side? That is the Sphinx River. Well, okay. we yes. do an investigation well. around town to see if we can find out from anyone overhearing whether the river goes to the capital? Oh, you have your map case. No, this one's a little bit more. You're well, like a I do. I have. Uh, are you talking about the the, the map brown. Uh, tracker or my scroll Hail, case? No light, uh, the scroll no. case. Okay, no. I'm gonna knock out the scroll case map of uh, much, yeah. Hungary here and take a look at it. That's why that find Orphic. I showed you it was pretty accurate. Uh, Orphic's right here. It'll take you along the river here. Uh, into the area known as the Briar Patch, which surrounds Thornfield. It's called the Briar Patch because the humans to the south never could capture Thornfield because of the rough terrain and indigenous creatures there. Now, the road that we were taking uh, is... Took, took around. We took around? Yeah, so, so you, the were, road... you were right here, and then you just kind of moved around. The road out of... Orphic, then is the one that's like an outer belt that goes all the way down to Abbas Point. Abbas Point and Mar Tower. Okay. And there's a roadhouse right here. Competition. I've talked to Felix about burning that one. Scummy down. Place. <laughs> Scummy Place Roadhouse. <laughs> that's the name of ours. <laughs> Copyright. Um, if I would see if we can. Since it's noon, we'll stop and try to go into the whatever local tavern there may be. Uh, Felix could use a beer. That's what I figure. Yeah. I need, you know, after his good deed, he's exhausted from not being able to help at all. Uh, so while we're there, we'll try to ask the, the barkeep which of the two routes that go into Thornfield are the faster of the two. Uh, well, welcome to the mug and chug. Um <laughs> So you're saying you're going south towards the capital. So if you take the left, that's not a bad road. That, that's that's kind of a good road. Uh, if you take the road to the right, eh, there have been reports of some bandits out there. Uh, so you, you might want to be careful. I, me, personally, I go left. 
are they both about the same amount of time to get to the capital or is one faster the one on the right's faster but again with the bandits uh, is it a lot faster or a little bit faster it'll save you 50 minutes oh okay all right I'll, I'll, if the road if the road the left road <laughs> if it's uh what the conditions of that road are like once you get past the swamp not bad a few potholes a few 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 chuckles there uh and i believe uh i believe that's where the roadhouse is it's on the left road correct so yeah um and you can always stop by there at scummy's place then you make it through the swamp and it's smooth sailing all right anything to worry about going through the swamp or just slow terrain d12 against me 11 12 nice uh fortunately for you all of the barmaids in this place are but ugly and felix is not interested <laughs> oh no i doubt that sincerely well they're all halflings in there uh as felix would call them uggos <laughs> but at least they aren't fat <laughs> so uh our oversized iguana is but but the uh but the barkeep seems to think that uh, the road towards abba's point is the way you want to go all right I, I don't i don't think the bandits have been taken care of the pachyderm cores in there trying to clean it out but i i don't know they i heard their general ain't with them and you know them military guys if they aren't constantly hammered they aren't going to do much i i think the problem is they're usually hammered so could, could this will take him at his word uh and you know let felix finish his beer and then we'll <laughs> Rest the mounts for a short while while we're doing that. Make sure they're fed. Um, we have feet and then get back on the road. I'm going to ask the barkeep about how far is it from Orphic to the capital on that left road? Uh, Got to look at my map or my schedule again. It's a jaunt. Uh, day 19, uh, probably five days. Maybe wow, six. What you, just did. you got them mounts uh, out there. That that'll help you. You'll gain a little bit of traction there. Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. I appreciate him for his time. Tip him well, and then we're going to skid out on start heading out. Felix would uh, will, will request to try a different bar. Felix, you know, one for the road. Yeah. No, Felix is going to climb up onto that cream colored donkey and get rolling. You know, uh, I, I don't think you've pitched your wares here. This might be a good outlet for you to do that. Maybe we should check into another uh, tavern. Maybe one with better looking waitresses. All right, roll D twelve against me. Boom. If you win, I stay and go to the bar because we can ten. Three. Topius is on a mission. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> so, I, what's funny about as we're heading out, I'm going to try to ask the the barkeep. Uh, to keep an eye out for, I'm going to ask him if he's seen this group, the rest of the party, if they've come through yet. They came through this way. Doesn't ring any bells. Well, you certainly couldn't have missed them if they came through, that's for sure. Right. They would have been the talk of the town. That big fat lizard with them. <laughs> it's an iguana. <laughs> clown posse. You all suck is no, what this is. The clown posse <laughs> back in Triorki. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a member. Posse. Uh, that's true. He is an honorary member. He's a member of the clown posse. He was marked by that woman. Remember, he got tattooed. Well, I uh, guess I don't oh, have to fear them. I forgot. Because I am now an insane clown in a posse. Uh, give me a D4, Copious. Uh, one. Uh, I, I misspoke on the time of day. You go about an hour. Oh. Uh, and it's really starting to get dark out, so you guys are going to have to make camp. An hour out of town, we have to make camp? Yeah. If it was that close to the evening, we I I would say that Felix and – there's no way I would have dragged Felix back out into the woods, and Kofi's wouldn't have gone either. We would have found a tavern. And Felix is 100% behind this plan. <laughs> yeah. 
Copious would have stabled the mounts for the night, had them groomed and fed properly the next day. Felix will go ahead and scout out potential competition areas for you to go ahead and exploit. Most, yeah. most notably the cheap end taverns. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if he gets in any trouble on this Eight. day. Ten. <laughs> trouble uh, it is. Uh, let's see. One is a fight. Four is incarceration. Two is a love quarrel. And three is nefarious individuals. Nefarious individuals it is. <laughs> well, I'm going to just tell Felix when he watches this, you can't blame me. The dice, the dice away. giveth, the dice taketh away. Uh... His problem lies with a group called the Cabal. Well, that doesn't sound nefarious at all. Apparently he was uh, not on the winning end of the dice game. So he owes them some scratch. <sighs> but they How will, much? They will offer him an opportunity to ply his talents uh, in lieu of payment. So and bad. Let me think how Felix would hit. Yes. Because <laughs> so he's an bad. honest, hardworking individual. Uh, Levi kind of knows what this is. She's kind of scared to death. She didn't think she'd see one. Uh, as this globe, this giant globe, comes up on the right, Leaf, uh, you're across the river. 35, 40 feet away. Uh, it rises high and uh, let's see. Uh, odd or even is how we'll do this. Four, even uh, and a D4. Two. Cool. One, two, three, four. Four. Man fang. Uh, as this globe comes up, it's about level with the bridge. Uh, it's still on the incline, so it's not like you can walk up and stab it. Uh, one of its comb-overs rises up, and it's like a little tiny eyeball. And it, sh it shoots out a ray. And I am going to need you... <laughs> Do an intelligence check? Wisdom. <laughs> oh, well, that's better. Uh, uh, so much better. I guess better in intelligence. Yeah. It's the exact same. <laughs> Let me check if it's minus three. I know it's not good, though. Let me check. Boop, 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 boop. Wisdom. What is wisdom? What is wisdom? Where is wisdom? Wisdom? There it is. Plus one. Ha. That's better yeah. than your intelligence. Shit. Sure. I rolled a two, which is now a three. You pee yourself just a little bit and uh. run like hell <laughs> at this. Because uh, this thing has scared the bejesus out of you. Uh, and you know what? Levi was supposed to go first because she had the 22. Yeah. She ain't going to kill it, so I'm pretty sure Manfang's still running for the hills. Well, not yet, though. Do. Just come up, make decision. Do. We're in here, so you're just gonna go off of whatever you think you're supposed to do, uh, and learn a life lesson the hard way. You know what? What are you gonna do? What's you going got on? a glowing orb in front of you with an eyeball. What are you gonna do? When in doubt, fireball. There you go. Fireball, fireball, fireball. fireball. Kill it, kill it, yeah, kill burn it, a bridge kill, it down. kill it. Fireball, fireball. Cast hunters mark. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. It allows you to uh, speak with the animals. This isn't an animal, though. Cast the hunter's mark. Just hit cast. This? That's not cast. That's cast. She cast hunter's mark. Fair enough. I will. No. Uh, was... I don't think you get damaged this round. You get damaged next round after you hit it. Correct. Seven, 17. Leaf the druid, I believe. 
No, it's on the incline, so I can see it clearly, right? Oh yeah. No, he's talking. He's talking about how close to the bridge is it? Uh, I don't know, twenty-two or something. Wasn't it? Ten feet. Don't cast lightning bolt. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, and that's a deck save for you. Uh, and, uh, you give me a second to bring this up. And make sure I do this right. Fifteen <sighs> plus minus one, fourteen. Well, you didn't save. I'm gonna take the heat. Yeah, you are, and I'm gonna cast. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I don't know how to do this. Just a second, and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, channel divinity, destructive wrath. Okay. So you take full damage, and that is eight die six. Yep, it's a big one. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, my turn again? No, shut up, sit down. Do I, do I still need to roll or? Yeah, yeah, 8d6. Oh, okay. Yeah. Robert's doing his best lieutenant, Dan. Shut up, get down. <laughs> shut up, yeah, that's get down. Straight up 17 on my roll, so. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's, that's to hit you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you hit me. Yeah, so you take forty-eight points of damage. Forty-eight. Uh, plus oh, plus eight. Hang on a minute. Lightning bolt. Are you no, it's eight die six. That's forty-eight. Oh no, why are you so cold? Just forty-eight points. No. Got it. Uh, sixteen. Uh, Hagas. It's locked on. It was locked on Man Thing because it shot a. Correct. Thing at him. So it's not locked on me. Correct. Then I'm going to use the back door. Note that you are close to the edge. I am close to the edge. I am going to shoot my bow at the orb. There you go. With the plus two. Stop. Does a 15 hit? A 15 does hit. Okay. It's a big circle. It's like a target. True. Weather, ba weather balloon with eyes. That might be it. Manfang, you are on deck. Nine. Nine. Be in yourself. Nine damage. Plus two, right? Correct. So 11. 11. Got it. Manfang, you're up. Robert's on deck. And that way, kind of do I roll again wisdom to see if I break out of my peeing running state? Correct. I'm currently cry farting. <laughs> that is a 17. Uh, what's your maximum movement? Let me check. That's how far away you are now. Uh, With a little bit of pee uh, in your britches. Should be at the top of your sheet. It, it should be. But you'd think it would be. But he, oh, plus it's thirty. I want thirty feet. So sixty feet, because you're running. Oh, okay. You are run, man. Sixty feet away now, Robert. You're up. Uh, holy shit! There's some big circle thing attacking us. It's attacking now. I'm on the bridge, and it's below me, though, right? Same level. Oh, okay. It's over on the bank. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you guys were looking at it on the ground. All right. Well, no, Haggis climbed and got up there, and it. Wah, 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 I shot a thing at it. It did eleven damage. It's trying to do. It's trying to find Han Solo. And the rebel. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, shit. Let me do a little something. Is it self destruct? All right. Let's cast some magic there, Frank. You do. I don't agree to this. Four. Three. All right. We're going to catap catapult. Catapult what? Huh? Catapult what? The drow. Yep. No. Catapult them. Going to throw the drow right at it. Catapult the fat lizard. Saving throw. So uh, dex, I believe. Minus catapult. one. Fail. Eight. 
total. Awesome. So full damage. Whoa. That's a lot. 20 damage. Woo. Is that good? No. It no. kind of sucked. Really? Top of the order. Levi. Oh, he... uh, you can hear Man Fang oh. huffing and puffing, but he's not running anymore. So that's a plus, I guess. What are you going to do? You going to shoot it? Yeah. With okay. What though? Is the orb like. You can shoot it with your with longbow. longbow. Yeah. It's, it's like mottled skin. Shoot it. Shoot it. shoot it! I'll shoot it! If I mess up this... I don't know what to believe anymore. Shoot it. If you miss, you can... Okay, there you go. 26. You hit. Okay. One, yeah. Do it. Damage. Nine. It's probably really bad, isn't it? No, that's not bad at all. Uh, oh. What am I going to do? Even again. <laughs> uh, Nobody likes this laugh, Frank. A seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hoggis. <laughs> Constitution saving throw, please. Does it go through it? What do you mean? Does it hit it like it's an actual It's an actual physical being present. Like it's not. It's just a floating a orb. It's an eye. Seven high in the air. It has seven or seventeen. Seventeen. Like those pictures you're looking at. This damage. It's... This uh, golden light comes by and <laughs> scorches through your body, causing an immense amount of pain. Uh, How much you, pain? You grit. Well, it's a lot of d8s. <laughs> you can really go it down. Just imagine it's a. Uh... Floating eye. I like this. Okay. Just go with that as an image for your mind. Haggis, are you rogue level seven? You have evasion? It says level seven here. Look to see if you have evasion. No. 18 hit points of damage is the half amount. Uh, Robert, D12 against me. Let's see if this evisceration ray cuts into any of the supports you've already mended. Oh, son of a bitch. Six. Twelve. Just targeted Haggis. Uh, oh, that's good. Next up, 17. Leaf. All right, I'm going to cast a spell. You don't have a save on it. Doesn't look like it anyway. What is it? That hit. That's 23 to hit. Um, guiding bolt. Yeah, I don't have a save. And that's six. Uh, six. That's six murder hobos. Nice. Give me a minute. Well, I ain't rolled them yet, but I'm, I'm trying to talk to my dice here. Don't interrupt me now. Oh, well, that ain't murder hobos. Seven. <laughs> That's a murder hobo, and nine is 15. No, 16. Stop. Come on, baby. Come on. Sit baby. Back there. Did you and that's a murder hobo, and 10. That's 26. Did you upcast that thing? Yes. Okay. Whew. Uh, how much? 16? 26. 26. Uh, Haggis, you're up. Okay, a lot of pain happens. Um, Shit. You can actually see your innards as uh, some of your intestines kind of spill out. Oh, oh Man Fang. Haggis needs you to give him some medical help. Man Fang. Oh. Uh, he's serving no. bratwurst. He's got Medic. it right here in a man pouch. Yeah, I was. Uh, that's not. Uh, so, like, how like mended is the bridge right now? Uh, he's only been doing it a half hour. And. 150 minutes was total. 140. You can run the other way, dude. Or, yeah, you can uh, go after Manfang and shake his hand. Um, like, where's my uh, Zonky? Uh, your Zonky is uh, back on the trail. You guys all dismounted, so at mm -hmm. this moment, they're not in any jeopardy. 
Yeah, you're doing fine. Okay. Of course, um, now that you reminded him that they were out there. No, I, I was I, I was trying to figure out how I could kill a chicken or a zonkey today. So you guys have done it correctly so far. <laughs> but Jason has yet to go again. <laughs> but the orb is now up here, right? On that one side of the bridge. Oh, On your side of the bridge, yes. Okay, then why don't I, I'm going to go back into the ravine on the other side of the bridge. So if the bridge is like this, and it's over here with me, I'm going to go over. So you're going to you're gonna circle around to the other side and go down the ravine. Yeah. Uh, you don't have evade? Um, I have Uncanny yes. Dodge. Does, does he have, have Dodge? Okay. Uh, it's seventh I, level. I, I, should have evade. I have Cunning Action. So That's no no attack of opportunity. Uh, so you hunker down. Manfang, uh, 60 feet away, what do you want to do? Probably go back. You want to get a bag of Oreos on the way? Or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, can you attack? Do you have any missile weapons that you want to try and use? A spear, but I didn't write it down. Well, then throw it. I'm going to throw, I don't know how far it goes though. 120. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Jesus. I'm going to throw my spear. It's Wrong. a good thing um, I went down the ditch. Right? I don't know what the plus is. I'm just going to, what's a regular plus for a spear? No. Dexterity. Because it was the spear we got from the water people. So your dex is what, plus reach. one? Yeah, my dex is plus one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it teleports back to you. It's 15. I rolled 14. 14? Well, I rolled 14. It's 15. Oh, yeah, that hits. Woo! Sorry, I gotta sit here for now. Why? Roll your damage. Come on. Frankie! Uh, yeah. Well, uh, roll damage. I don't know. What do I, what's the regular damage? Uh, D this? D6. Okay. You can do two of them, though, if it's the one from the water people. It's the one from the water people. That's a seven. Seven total? Mm -hmm. Seven total. Uh, Eleven. Oh, that was Man Fang. Uh, four. Robert. Let's see what we can shoot now. Oh, let us do a witch's bolt. Nope, catapult. I want a catapult. Dexterity save. Eight. My rolls are for crap today. Nah, so aren't mine. Sixteen damage. It explodes. Pieces of it flutter down, land on the embankment. As Haggis is on the other side of the bridge, he can kind of see the pieces fall along the embankment. Leaf sees it explode. Uh, no fire, no it. magic, no sprinkles. It's just gone. It's right. so disappointing. Just disappeared? Yeah, I destroyed just, it. I, I'm going I'm to climb back it. up. And Where's Haggis? I'm here. I'm here. Haggis is still on the other side. He's he's now on this side of the bridge. Same shore. You are on the opposite shoreline. Okay. Well, I guess I have to cross back over then. Huh? Daddy. It makes it kind of sound like it was summoned, not like it was a wild thing. If it didn't like drop anything. Well, actually, everybody, give me an intelligence check. Everybody? Everybody, except for Copious. Or Manfang. You might as well know, just not. Uh, 19? No, 18. Italians? I also got 18. Oh, uh, roll. And is it a saving throw or just an intelligence roll? Check. Just a check. Check. Go up. Roll up. Scroll up. There you go. You see where mine says big zero? Click that zero. Oh, wait, this is on yours. Yeah, well, click it for me. I got to do it too. Oh, here? Or, oh, here. Intelligence there. You'll do the same with yours. 17 for Robert. Ooh. No, wait, actually. There you go. 18. 18 for me. I'm so cool. I'm better than him. Man Fang, uh, did you roll your intelligence check? Because I think you get a lot of pluses on that one, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you're, you're muted. It's a good thing. Yeah, I was going to say, probably a good thing. Yeah. Here, let Don't me worry, roll I've been it. called worse. <laughs> oh, big numbers, big numbers. What was it? Um, I just think it was a regular check, correct? Yeah, just a regular check. Oh, that's a 19 turned into a 16. All of you oh. are, are starting to piece this oh. together. So whatever the hell this thing was, the Nuns of the Silver Moon required that artifact that you guys found in the fortress to deal with something. And, and there were like nine of those nuns. You found three of them. And the creature from the left. Huh. All I know is those nuns were tough as hell, and it took out three of them. At least three of them. <laughs> Cut to Copius and Felix. Copius, uh, Felix has spent the night out with his newfound friends. Uh, we'll call them the gutter rats. Uh... A quaint name. Uh, were you just going to hang out in your room and be down in the whatever the nicest tavern in the town is in the common room, trying to self-promote, regale people with my heroics, you know that kind of thing. They have actually heard of that song. It's a very catchy tune. D twelve against me. Nine. Six. Uh... Felix comes running in, sweat pouring down his face. We gotta go. <laughs> like a Uriah Heap song. Uh, but, and he, right in the middle of your spiel, he's like, we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, I, he's clearly concerned about something, uh, but you are you are knee deep in this explanation, and you've got this this guy on here. Uh, this is the Silver Chalice Tavern, and it, and he he's liking what you're saying. I'm brushing him off. I'm Felix or the other guy. Felix, okay. I'm the guy that I self-promoting to sure uh give me a perception check oh my good 11 uh felix has had enough he takes off towards the back <laughs> okay i'm i'm gonna ignore felix as far as as far as copious is concerned his audience comes first sure uh, give me your best persuasion roll yes Call them the angel uh, angel. Persuasion. Death. Shoulder blades. 20. Dirty 20. Hugo Underling loves this concept. He, he, he would love to promote your beverage. You've given him the sample, I assume. He, he's very oh, yeah. upbeat on it. Uh, so Hugo Underling, not Hugo Boss, uh, but Hugo Underling, uh, is liking what you're smelling. So he, he is all set to jump on board this uh, endeavor uh, and wants to be a chief promoter of that beverage. So uh, he asks, you know, how soon can you get the paperwork ready? Uh, I, I can be promise, ready by the morning. Uh, you know what? He shakes hands, uh, calls the waitress over, says, this man gets anything he wants and it's on the house. Oh, even better. Oh, he is so grateful. Uh, and now that he's concluded his business, he'll order a meal, and then after his meal, uh, and dessert, and then he'll go find Felix. Sure. Uh, any die, odd even. Odd. Uh, right in the middle of your meal, which is stellar. It's river perch, but it, it's just immaculate. Um, door bursts open, and there are three kind of uh, unscrupulous dudes there. One with a great big gash in his cheek that is flowing blood uh, quite a lot. Uh, and they're just... Hey! Hey! 
you seen a human guy about yay tall looking like this? Uh, you, Copious, roll a d12 as Hugo Underling. If you win, yeah, he's seen that guy. Six? Six. Tie. One more time. <laughs> One. Oh, uh, Hugo Underling says, uh, yeah, uh, He's the guy that wanted to talk to you, isn't he? <laughs> the three salty individuals kind of surround your table. Where's your friend at? Um, my friend? Yeah. Oh. And, and the, the one reaches over, grabs a piece of the river perch, starts eating it. Full initiative. Okay. Don't touch me in food. Not 20. <laughs> 17. But you know what? I'm not expecting you to do something, so I'll, I'll give it to you. What do you want to do? Eldritch Blasted, the guy that just took my food. Fair. Uh, 15 and a 20. Both hit. So uh, I did uh, 13 points and 13 points. 26 points total. That guy is just full of holes and slumps to the deck uh roll two intimidations one for each of the remaining dudes that 20 on the one the other one's not nearly as impressive uh nine on the other one of them man fangs his pants and runs like hell <laughs> it's the thinner one uh <laughs> The other one, <laughs> the other one, <laughs> screw that. He's going to hit you. An eight. Uh, he swings his blade, but over the head it goes. Your turn. I'm going to hit um, two more Eldritch Blast. Uh, 12 and a 22. 22 gets him. Or... Seven points. Uh, hurt, not dead. Uh, whew, five. <laughs> That's a mess. <laughs> My dice rolls are shit today. What are the patrons in the bar doing? Uh, running for cover. Fair enough. Two fifteens. Two hits. I'm going to do a minimum of uh, ten points of damage. Yeah, he's going to die. Okay. Well, just to roll it out, he, he has, uh, how much is that again? Uh, that was seven and 11. So he has 19 points of damage. He's dead. Uh, you have a body to your left. The first one was the guy with the gash. The guy you just killed is to the other side. Jumping out of the back room is Felix wielding his Mermaid, Mermaid Dagger. Yeah, who was? <laughs> Hiya! Like uh, Kurt Russell. <laughs> Looks around. The patrons, sensing that danger is over, starting to get up. This may or may not have screwed up your deal, though. So give me another persuasion as uh, Hugo Underling comes over and asks what well, the hell is going on. Taking this out, Felix Hyde. I'm just... This is a whole hand shot first kind of moment. This was Kobe's shot first. Sure. Uh, 19 on persuasion. <laughs> 18. It's a hard sell, but Hugo understands you don't touch another person's meal ever. Uh, he calls for some of the cooks to drag the bodies out. The sheriff comes in. Uh, and you're in halfling territory. Uh, the sheriff is uh, Buford T. Pusser. <laughs> <laughs> and he's carrying a big stick. And he wants to know why you're messing up his nice, quiet town. Boy. <laughs> you, he just Did you just poke him with this? I poked him with the uh, axe handle. I think another Eldritch Blast really fix this guy, right? Did you poke Felix or Copious? Poke you. I, <laughs> Copious, I said, 
I was just ha- I just struck a deal with the proprietor of this lovely establishment in this wonderful town. We sat down to enjoy my meal, and two ruffians, these three ruffians, came in, threatened threatened me, and took my food. What is a humble gnome supposed to do? You know these boys? Never seen them before in my life. Why'd they want you? I have no idea. I think they were racing. Uh, Felix is not around at this moment. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, Hugo Underling says, Buford, this man was in the right. They came in and they took food right off his plate. They weren't looking for him. They were looking for his friend. And that friend piece. I said, I don't have a friend in this town. <laughs> it's a tall human guy. That guy, I was just trying. He and I both arrived at the busted bridge at the same time. And the, the DRIG, those wonderful people that are fixing the road, told us to follow the detour here to Orphic. I'm glad you think highly of the DRIG because my cousin's in charge of that. That project is a mess. So down. where can I find this other hoo-ha that came in with you? I have no, I don't even know where he's staying. Last I saw, I was wandering around some of the more, you know, let's say less pristine establishments in the community. Give me your persuasion role to see how Buford handles this issue. I would, he is a gambler. 24. Well, Hugo here is an excellent judge character. So as long as you keep your nose clean, as long as you're in my town, we are not going to have a problem. I'm going to assure the sheriff that I am just passing through. I'm on my way to the Capitol to go. I have a message to deliver for. I'm going to pull this one out just to see if it works. To Gertrude Abernathy from her parents. I helped them out on, they had a spot of trouble on the road in. And I helped them out with their cart. So I'm just heading, heading that way. I've got some business in the Capitol and said I'd deliver a message for them. You're telling me that you helped that no good rug rat Paul Abernathy? Damn, backfired on me. It's worth a shot. Said, well, they were had their cart was stuck in the mud. And you helped them. I did. Well, I certainly appreciate that because they're kin of mine. Oh, by this freaking town is related to each other. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it, you're you're going mean. through Alabama for God's sake. That's there's what, there's I, only one DNA strand here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so hoping you're like, oh no, I didn't help them. Mm. Oh, gee, oh. their family tree is just a circle. It's there. You go. How many view? How many viewers you got in Alabama? <laughs> About five, maybe one. <laughs> As of now, they, they haven't, one less. They haven't gotten the joke yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, Buford tells you, you tell your uh, traveling buddy, that we're looking for him. I certainly will. And if I see, if he's the reason why I had my meal disturbed, trust me, he's going to get it. Fair enough. Uh, You haven't gotten a room yet, have you? Probably not. There's an inn right next door called Tanner's. Buford? (laughs) Everybody's related here. (laughs) You want a room there? Yeah, that's fine. It's not bad. Uh, it'll only cost you a gold or two. So not a not a bad deal. Um, yeah. Roll a D four. Sorry, Coke still has his pillow he stole from the original uh, <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> three. Uh, three hours later, you hear uh, the window Jimmy on the second floor. To into my room or just on the second floor? Into your room. I wouldn't even look. Just throw that Eldridge blast. <laughs> well, I was thinking about throwing my dagger right at whatever came through the room. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a look. I assume it's probably Felix. It is. It, it is. Uh, he, story, he he has a slight nick underneath his eye that had you talked to him, you would have noticed earlier. And then he's got some lipstick <laughs> marks around. 
and he goes, Hey, your door's locked. And I was having a problem. Um, <laughs> you didn't get one with two beds. <laughs> Share bed in there and snuggle up, baby. Spoon time. Ooh. Yeah. It, scooch over. <laughs> I'm going to pull the dagger out and hold it at him. You know what, Ooh. better yet, how about I just sleep on the floor? That sounds like a winner. He reeks of alcohol and cheap perfume. That sounds really about right. And uh, if I get time, uh, I got two weeks, I'll, I'll write up The Adventure of Felix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be sure to let AJ know he wants to start watching about 5.40. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. Uh, that is good. Back to the bridge. Uh, what do you guys? What do you guys want to do with this? You got I want to heal. Um, <laughs> Haggis. Okay. He. Uh, I'm going to continue on the bridge. Sure. His injury is just... consistent with um, the evisceration of the two nuns. Okay. So I, here's the question. Do I cast mend on that belly first? <laughs> He's not a construct, so. <laughs> That's too bad. I think you ought to just right. do the stitches yourself. How many points you down? Uh, I think it was 18, right? Wow. That was half damage, too. Uh, that's 24 points of healing. Am I spear falling the ground when it exploded? All right. No, your you spear me? returns to your hand. All right, I forgot. What an I'm poof, and then I grab it. So uh, Robert is continuing like, his work on mending the bridge. Uh, I can help him. Watching. I have mending as a cantrip too. Will that shorten time? Cut it right in half. All right, let's get to it. Another hour later, uh, the bridge is fixed, uh, and you can walk your mounts across. Uh, it's mid afternoon by right now. Me. You know. There you go. Oh, and we're, I'm not sure. Can you show us where we're at on the map? I, I mean, I tried to figure out where we, I didn't see any place where that road crossed the river. Up the first third. Uh, this, this is a wider range. So the river itself will cross over in several spots. So where are we at? You guys are right here at the O. Okay. So we're just outside of Orphic. Yep. Okay. So. Well, uh, we might as well ride on into town. You guys cross over. Uh, give me a D4 leaf. Two. Two hours into it, you come up to another log jam, and a, a group of the hardworking DGIDs uh, are over there, uh, really putting in the old government effort to clear this. Uh, and there's an individual who's shouting instructions and whipping uh, the individuals trying to get them to work faster. Is this a bunch of trees down again, or yeah, yeah? This time it is. Well, only three. Uh, okay. But the, this taskmaster is kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. Man, thing. I don't see as being one of our problems. Let's just go around. Is this Man cousin thing, sheriff? You're in here. Hey, Jason, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I want Manfang to do something. <laughs> yeah, I have an idea. You have to go through and clear a path for your chickens. I have an idea. Since it's thinner, I should be able to spit acid through this. That's even worse. That's, that's a that's... great idea. I like that idea. Uh, you should definitely. Your acid doesn't this. do enough damage to go it through does, a tree trunk. It does it enough damage. It does enough. Tree with your it split. It, it went through the wood. It does enough. It would only go through one tree, though. Listen, man, and? you are a genius, a self-proclaimed genius. You don't have to listen to these other voices in your head. Exactly. Right here. Exactly. Right here. You're trusting this, man, Fang. Don't believe these other naysayers. They're just going right. down, calling you fat. Don't believe those guys. Mm -hmm. Right here mm -hmm. is where you believe. I'm the rolling. <laughs> I am rolling. You better Let's tell them see. to get out of the way first. Hey, shut up. Uh, no, no, no. No. Right. no, no, no. Man, Fang. <laughs> are they in the way? Them? Yeah. Oh, hey, are they? Working they on are. It. Working on the log jam. While I'm burping to get myself ready, I'll go, get out of the way. Move, move now. The guy with a whip looks at... <laughs> 
nine man fang and says, look, you dumb idiot. We're working here. Just scoot away and wait your turn. I got to vomit. Oh, and idiot. then I'll tell them to move or else. And then if they don't move in those five seconds, I'm vomiting on it with my acid. Sure, go ahead. All right. Did they not move in those five seconds? Everybody um, but the foreman moves. Ah, all right. Who cares? Uh, it's a awesome. Dex DC 14 to save. 11. He does not. <laughs> that is 16 damage. <laughs> so bad. Did he get the tree at all? He got all three <laughs> trees, uh, but there's some splash damage. So the guy takes four hit points. Uh, and now he's got the pockmarked, like, acne scar kind of look about him. And he's not happy. Oh, I thought he would be happier since I cleared my trees out for him. Robert, no witnesses. Robert, throw a fireball through there and break them trees up. Uh, you're, you're muted if you're talking. Please say that again. I muted myself. Okay, burning hands, come online. So Man Fang spits acid on this guy, and you're going to burning hands him. This guy is in a world no of pain. <laughs> no, Copious said no witnesses, and he's not even here. Witness me! Robert's head! Witness me! Witness me. <laughs> Good God. So the path is clear, right? The roads of Valhalla were carious. Not, not completely clear, but uh, crushed enough that hey, you guys can make it. I guess don't touch any of the acid. I, I mean, I'll take my chances with my my donkey. I'm just gonna ride on through. Animal handling at advantage. Sixteen. Right on by the the three DG. Mm -hmm. uh, ID guys are, are happy, eh? Thanks. You're welcome. I had a you. Because <laughs> uh, Haggis is the one riding through. Uh, You're the, welcome. The You're one, all welcome. The one guy is still trying to get the acid and he's just shaking his finger at Man Fang. <laughs> well, here, let me pee on it. That, that'll stop the burn. <laughs> wow. What's on your head? <laughs> he's uh, one of the Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah. There's a TV in your belly. I thought that was man fang. So, no, you get it? Tell a tubby <laughs> man fang's just, eh, we get we get that. I hate <laughs> this. <laughs> the game sucks. I would make fun of They call me fat. I'm telling. Hey, people like you are supposed to be jolly. <laughs> 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 okay, who's, who's uh, right? Three uh, second. Uh, all right, Drew Isaac. Uh, advantage on animal handling. I like this one. Oh, I, natural 20 with my first roll. So I go by the guy with the acid on his face. I'm just going to tell him, splash some water on it. It'll wash off. That will yeah, be we'll endearing to uh, Jimbo Pusser. Uh, who's next? <laughs> I'll do it. Just wait till he starts flipping a coin and it, calling us Batman. Advantage on animal handling. We're so screwed. Not copious. <laughs> 16. Yeah, you pass. Uh, Levi and Man Fang. You're the only ones left. Roll your animal handling, Levi. Yay, plus five. Dad, you're, this is my right arm. Is a oh. it's a disadvantage, uh, right? No. Advantage. Not at advantage. At advantage? <laughs> at 25. No, you had a natural no. 20. Natural 20, yeah. <laughs> Man Fang, you're last. I'm mine. I'm mine. I'll walk on through and say, you're welcome to foreman. Where's your chicken at? I'm pretty sure I got off him <laughs> and then burped up to him and then vomited. And then I imagine I would have walked back to my chicken. But... <laughs> are, you, are you walking your chicken through? Mm, ah, I'm, I'm wanting to say no. no. You want to ride it through? I, I'll walk it through because I don't want to hit my head on something that didn't burn. Up <clears throat> the foreman with a whip comes up and takes the butt end of the whip 
and kind of pokes you in the chest and he goes what are you going to do about this uh, I thought that was there from before I can't fix that that's you gotta like there's I know this guy he does paint real well he can cover that up is it the same one that did your face exactly <laughs> pass <laughs> <laughs> I want money so that I can get it done right Oh, 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 what do you mean? All right. Uh, uh, what do I have? It's nothing. You have Jack Pratt. I'm going to holler back. It's Jack a shake, shakedown, man, Fang. Right on. It's a shakedown. <laughs> Later we're going to find out it's the sheriff's brother or something. I don't really care. We can kill everybody in town if you want. I'll give him one of the. Four, can I give him one of the no, foreign like gold the coins? Thing. Like not even a, not even a gold coin. One of the foreign oh silver God. coins, and say this is worth a lot of money in my country. If you go there, they have really great things. D twelve against me. Do the wooden coins you have? The wooden ones. I don't have. You have the wooden ones. I don't have. Oh the yeah, ones. I do. I rub ten. Uh, he's gonna ask for ten of them. I'm, I'm going to walk so over funny. and touch his face. <laughs> On the nose. Oh, you're going to boop him. <laughs> yes. Uh, are you booping him or healing booping him? Um, just boop Cure him. wounds. Oh. Wait, who is this? Oh, no, better yet. Healing word. What do I mean? I don't have to touch him. Uh, I stick it here, away. cast this one. It's called inflict wound. Give me a persuasion Ooh, like check, Robert. Persuasion? Mm -hmm. What is your persuasion? Not very good. Yeah. 14. Who's got to holler over to him? Hold still. We're going to fix that. Fair Two enough. Two points of healing. Uh, you guys going to leave now? Yes. Count in sight. Uh, let's make our way towards that. I gave a little healing love. Let's get rolling. Uh, Hoggis, give me a D4. A D4? Ew. An hour down the road, you pass a DGID guy telling people, you gotta take the, you gotta, you gotta take the, you gotta <laughs> take, you gotta go that way. You guys come up from behind, he's like, this road's blocked, how'd you get through? No, we it. unblocked it. You're welcome. Oh, I, I, you're you're welcome. Some, I was the one who cleared most of the I trees so on much. the road, including the ones back there. I'm going to stab a zonky in the heart with my spear. Uh, okay. Um, he thanks you, throws his shovel over his shoulder, starts walking towards town. You're welcome. He, he's a no. No, you it's not. It's not cleared on the say, other side of the bridge. Copious sugars <laughs> offered me a free round if I got this done fast. Co co Copious bitters. Copious bitters. Copious bitters. Where at? At the end, way out there, Smidge's old place. Uh, that's too far for me to go. For a free brew, because you know, like here comes the king. Here comes the king. I never heard of that one. Oh, well, tough shit for you. Hey, uh, make make sure you stop by the mug and chug and tell my uh, cousin I said thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, an hour later, you guys reach the outskirts of town. I'm going to look for the mug and chug. I'm yeah, going to look for a stable. Help. I'll go do a mug no. and chug. Uh, you find the mug and chug because hell, it's right there. Right about stable? Uh, stable's over here. All right. Stable so, went up the animals. So it's who's going to, to the mug and chug, chug and who's going to the other? I'm going to go stable the animals before I do anything. Okay. Uh, okay uh, I need you to roll a D12 leaf and copious. I need you to roll a D12, please. Nine. Muted. Eight. Odd and even. Uh, good news, Leaf. They got plenty of room here at the stables. Okay. How much? Two gold piece per animal. Unless you want to sell one of them chickens. Nope. You sure? So what? How many? How many animals we got? Anyways, I don't even uh, know one, anymore. One, two, three, four, five. 
Three chickens Five and total. two zonkeys, yep. All right, I'll just pay. Okay. That's fine. Over at the Mug and Chug, the other four go to the Mug and Chug or just two of you? I thought we were stabling the animals. I didn't know he was doing it. But I'm not yeah, taking everybody's okay. animals. They can stable their own animals. I just paid for it. I'm taking my animal. And so everybody's stable. going to the Mug and yeah. Chug? Or I'm going to go get stable? something to eat. Everybody went to the stables Love first. Chug. We all went stables. Now yeah, we're all going to get animal. something to eat yeah, at the Mug and Chug. Yeah, my animal. Okay. Uh, they greet you warmly. Uh, this is Toby Atwell, uh, proprietor. Wants to know what he can get for you. What's on the menu? Uh, we got some uh, uh, river carp. And river shit fish. River carp? I'll eat it. We'll take five. And five what? Ales, okay. whatever. Five it is. Yep. Oh, uh, come on. Five? five we'll take six. Man five. thing eats for two. You know why? <laughs> <laughs> He's pregnant. He's an asexual creature. <laughs> Oh, you guys get to like use that. that. Man <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> Who got man thing pregnant? The real question. He, <laughs> he, he, he's not on the keto diet. He's on the Eto diet. Eto everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Your son's outside being the door. <laughs> Be to see more. Everybody do con check. See how you like the uh, river uh, flotsam. The river carp. 19. 13. Anthony, you're getting attacked. By what? By your own body. (laughs) 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 And it has advantage. (laughs) Ouch. Okay, your, your con roll dictates on how well you liked it or didn't. Uh, the carp's okay. It is a little bony. The ale is also adequate. Uh, Toby, uh, the crowd is sparse here. Uh, the bum rush is already over. Uh, he wants to know uh, what brings you to town. Just passing through on our way to the Capitol. Oh. Hey, your co- or whose cousin works for the road service? My the cousin works for the road ID. service. What's that? My cousin works for the road service. Jeb? He, he said we were supposed to let you know that he was very thankful for us for helping him clear the road early. And he said hi. And he says hi. Yeah. Well, how about I get you guys a shot if you guys were helping him? Yeah. The yeah. Shot yeah. Yeah, we repaired the bridge for him. I well, am How about two enough. shots? Yeah. Well, Man Fang needs two. He's got a bigger body. <laughs> God, I, what? Just shut it. I hate you. Wait a minute. Man Fang can't <laughs> drink. He'll Man. take milk. He'll take the goat's milk. Uh, they can have mine. Everybody who drinks, I need a constitution save for Go each shot that you take. Please. I'm drinking goat milk, apparently, so I don't need any of this. I'm not Go- drinking goat it. Goat milk will put weight on you. <laughs> if that matters. <laughs> My first constitution roll was six. I'm leaving this. I'm, I'm done with this. I can't. I'm not. I'm not good with this. Uh, Sixteen is it. fine. Seven is not. Frankie, you can't drink, man. Thing, you're pregnant. <laughs> I do one. I got a thirteen. You got goat milk. You don't have to roll for the constitution of the liquor. What about me? You're uh, too you young can. to drink. You, you we don't to... serve your kind around here. You wait, you have to wait outside. Wait, man, you so you got to roll twice. Two. Frankie, what you didn't realize Two. was that. My, Dragon board are just like seahorses, man. The man has to carry the baby. You're a young baby. No, I'm not. Yep. <laughs> roll, roll your costume. No, that, that means you're drinking for two. Yeah. <laughs> being large she rolled goes two. Two. So it's plus Give me the whole two. bottle. I'm going to chug it in an hour. She rolled an 11. 11 for her? Okay. Uh, she just had the one then? Yes. Leaf, you gave yours away? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want Who Who'd you give it to? I don't know who took it. I took it because I would rolled for two. And yeah. Well, no, he, he's buying you or two. It didn't taste he, go he, down well. He's buying you two. So now so you have three. That means you got four. Yeah, you got four. Oh, I don't want it then. I, I'm good with two. Huh? I drank <laughs> two of them, and that, that second one. Just, and then I'm uh, going to say, I'm going to say out loud, man, where's Felix when you need him? And then you're going to take it back immediately. Because why would you ever say that? Yeah, well, you did? I don't know. I've never heard of St. Felix. Nope. Me neither. Oh, uh, he's a, 
He's he's a alcoholic that runs around with us sometimes. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, each their own. Uh, Robert is noticeably intoxicated, which is quite unusual. <laughs> oh, no. Because he only had two and an ale. Uh, judging from his past exploits, he should not be as trashed as he is. So, um, uh, okay. It, it's about dinner time. You guys have had your meal. You've had your uh, beverage. You've stabled your animals. Uh, what would you like to do? Maybe we should go get a, a room next. Man thing. Go I want to. I want to ask Robert if he's acting that way. Uh, if he's all right. <laughs> Robert. He's happy. He's happy as a. He's as happy at. As man fang at a buffet. I hate you all. <laughs> this shit is just. Be happy as man fang at baby's gap. Man fang, go go waddle over to Robert and help him out. How about you waddle over there with your scared of his fingers? Oh, I'm, gonna ask, oh, I'm gonna ask the bartender where if there's an inn close oh, by. Buddy. There is. It's run, now. It's run by my wife. Okay. It's called the Hampton Arms. The Hampton Arms? Hampton Arms. It is a nice place. And any any friend uh Toby Atwell's is a friend of her, even though she hates hey, me. Hey, give me some more fish. Uh, no. Okay. Man, they ate all of them. Uh, it's this Not one right funny. here. That's the end? That's the end. Okay. What did I say it was? The Hampton Arms. Hampton Arms. Uh, it, it's actually not ah. bad. It's uh, kind of bungalow-ish, very homey. Yeah, what's up, homey? Uh, reasonable rate. Uh, do you mention you're a friend of Toby Atwell? Yes. Okay. Do you? I'm asking. Yes. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Who wants He's the D12 against guy. me? What am I rolling? D what? D12. D12 me. So go to roll. Right there. Yep, right there. Roll it. Six. A half play. Sure. I'll give you a reasonable rate. Woohoo! He's okay. not okay in the head, by the way. Uh, we That is visibly noticeable. <laughs> he, uh, uh, the proprietor will ask you guys, uh, if he gets sick, you don't get your damage deposit back. Ooh, we Ooh, that fish we're is talking about well. Robert. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to Robert and cast Lester Restoration on him. Okay. Ooh. Give me another uh, save, Robert. Constitution save. Roll, roll my Constitution. There you go. Con. Oh, we killed it. Seventeen. Lesser Restoration resolves the issue. He is sober as a church mouse. Yep, sober. You only got three rooms. But your head hurts. All right. I'll pay for mine. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Uh, do we need a cradle, man thing? Maybe a bed of straw? I don't know. What do your eggs hatch in? Has <laughs> any of these rooms got two beds? Uh, they all have two beds. Okay. Man Fang, you can bunk up with me. Well, he only... uh -huh. I guess you don't get any partners. You're lonely. <laughs> you, might, you might have to go find love on the run. <laughs> He won't find love anywhere. All right, we'll take off. No, that I mug. So, Haggis, how, uh, who how you, much? Who are you bunking with? Uh, five total. Okay. Well, if no one's gonna bunk with me, then I would <laughs> gladly bunk alone. <laughs> they uh, they've taken all the rooms. How about you bungalow? What taking? I no, I I I paid for the, all three rooms. I'm just taking one of them. Oh, you and Man Fang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Robert, Robert and Levi. Levi? Okay. Yeah, and Haggis can have the other one. Everybody has... Uh, Nobody wants to share a room with Haggis, let me tell you. So now, everybody roll a D20. It's that, that, that damn plus eight decks, man. <laughs> roll D D20, so... For me. Fifteen. What's we get about roll? Six, seven. Six, seven. That's dad's roll? No, that was yours. That's dad's roll. No, this man is fang, what'd you roll? Oh. Okay, what was it for? Um, Straight up D20. I, natural 20. 20. 
No, that's I got my 19. Face. It's my roll. You roll twice, then it doesn't count. You have to take your first one. Is that what you want to do? I'd rather check my second one. What was Levi's? I get to 14. Levi rolled a seven, and then she said, "Oh, that's not my roll. That was yours." And uh, then she then she rolled the natural. Levi point. rolled that's a seven. Uh, Levi, uh, early, well, eleven o'clock ish. You hear some kind of racket. Yeah, you hear a dog. Uh, <laughs> you hear screaming. You aren't real sure what the heck's going on. <laughs> Hey. Oh, that's me with my bottom sticking out the bat, the window on the second floor, uh-huh. releasing on top of a dog because I got the squirts from that bad fish. Nice. Well, there you go. So, you, you who hear, do you work for? You you hear a disturbance, but you can look out the window. You've got superior dark vision. So great. Are you gonna look out the window? Yeah, I'm gonna give me a perception he check. Baby looking Please, for his what's... father. Perception. Where's perception? Where it's always been for every game you've played. Ah. Uh, it's nighttime, right? Is that what we said? Okay. There you go. 23. 20 you killed it. Three. I am better than all of you. I am you, good. You see an individual hiding in the shadows. I'm going to wake up. You, see you got a bow? Several others uh, <laughs> roaming about. You're waking me up? I'm going to wake him up and tell him about it. Like, there's some person hiding and then people roaming i don't know i'm what? scared you're helping Where? me we're going outside let's go now i'm not going outside i'm going to go to the window okay then can i see what she's pointing at no <laughs> i have great vision what the hell are you talking about <laughs> i can see it you're just blind get a candle loser. i don't see a damn thing get somebody else don't wake me up for this bull crap i'm waking up God damn it i got a crap again Go do your thing then. Uh, can I? What, I'm going can back I to turn bed. Over or what a party! <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm going to bed. You're going to bed. Nobody cares. Day Nobody cares. 19 ends in Orphic. The party is still separated, but everybody's healthy for the moment. <laughs> at least we're on all, all in the same for place. You hope. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? <clears throat> uh, I just want to say my my uh, favorite part was still <clears throat> Manfang's decision to th- spit his acid. Don't let anyone ever tell you what to do with your character, Manfang. You play you, buddy. That's right. Mm-hmm. You I be will. You. It's We're okay, Manfang. We know it's just your hormones from being pregnant. Don't let the haters. I hate you. <laughs> Don't let the haters get to you. You're a hero. Always remember that. Noodle. What, what I want to know is where was Haggis? Oh yeah, how did you? How did you get the nickname? What do you mean? Where? What do you mean? I don't know. Well, him and Manfang been hanging out together an awful lot. Oh, don't you says, even? Says the guy responsible for an aberration. <laughs> the, for the <laughs> aberration. Uh, so we're talking about a short, fat, halfling <laughs> size baby. Iguana. <laughs> no, I have a dominant gene. It's just being iguana. Uh, the dominant gene. Probably more like a Gila monster. Uh, it's like a bearded say, dragon, but cooler. What, what I, say? Say I thought it was awful. I hated every bit of it, other than the part where I spit acid on something. <laughs> other than that, all awful. Uh, yeah. Never yeah, coming back ever again. Hormones. Uh, that's fair. Uh, Haggis, what'd you think? <laughs> I love <laughs> 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 You could make anything you said. <laughs> she 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 say. He's probably just hangry right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Frank Senior, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, especially between Manfang spitting acid on the trees and uh, Foreman. I like watching Copious lose his shit in the bar and start killing people. What were you gonna do? And, and you they touched my food. <laughs> I, I, I got I gotta go with that. You can't you can't touch a dude's food. That's just Oh wrong. no, I'm not arguing. I'd have killed him too. Uh, and just so oh, you know, a uh, Buford Pusser almost reached over and took me to your trout as Oh well. man, you shoulda. You shoulda. The, oh, I thought he was gonna react when you pushed him with that stick. The the dice said I, I said fifty percent chance. Low end, 
He's going to grab food, high end. He doesn't. It was 11. <laughs> so I thought poking him with the stick, the, the axe handle, would really set him over the edge. I did too, but I, didn't. I, I knew eating his food would, and he just missed it by that much. I, I, you know, Frank, I just have to go back to the very first game we played with you. Back at the beginning of your entire online web career. <laughs> What was the one thing that set off Kofi? I said he was short. He's got a really short temper for, and it was that which poking in the chest <laughs> in the very first game, and he stabbed her. It's just like Amen. Throwing, those, throwing those midgets into the door frame. You know, yeah. uh, like I, like I said, the only one I'm unsure about is Senior, but I I think I got him figured out. But I, I'm I'm getting really good at all your triggers. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, what well, you... it's not too hard. I don't like anything. <laughs> There's something that you'll like. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. Sophia, what'd you think? I thought it was good. That orb thing scared me mentally. You mean the beholder zombie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> you guys are lucky I, like I rolled like crap. Now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad you ran, it went it the other way. Oh, it, it would have done a number on you. Yeah. Because the bite was 46. So, uh, Middle Frank, what'd you think? I loved it. I didn't. Other than I didn't yeah, get the Bernie no, thing no, out. Well, you know, you're, you're going to have to deal with your son all night long. You know, I thought for sure he would try to blow a fireball. He a werewolf down there. Just, so just throw like, Oreos at him. That'll calm him down. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. I'm gone. That's Folks, it. I'm not getting paid enough for this. This has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Margu Campaign. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to be on the show, uh, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, if you're in the mood for Math Rocks, uh, Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, if you want your game to smell a whole lot better, oddfishgames.com adventure sense or the shine system and remember if man fang's angry just throw him a sandwich and you'll be fine let's uh, give him a big old dating game <laughs> kiss and wave <laughs> <laughs> ah, bye everybody what the hell is he doing <laughs>